as if you could help me get the two things ready. <laughs> oh, really? Why? Well, because, because we should help each other. That's what friends are for. Biffy, George, guess what? I've got a new friend. A new friend? Yes, living next door. Oh, and then does he play football? It's not a he, Biffy. It's a she called Dawn. A girl? Yeah. We've been singing nursery rhymes together. <laughs> Bet she can't sing as well as I can. Oh, yes, she can. No, she can't. Yes, she can. Listen. Yes. Is tea nearly ready? Oh, oh, it would be if you help me, Zippy. Bungle, now you're here, you can help. Now, I'll help you, George. Oh, we you, Zippy. Yeah, I'll help you eat it. <laughs> <laughs> a new friend called... George, it. she lives next door. Oh, I see. Are you going to invite her in? Well, I might do, but she's my special friend. Well, can't we share her with you? Well, I suppose so. La, 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 That's her now. I'm going out to see her again. Well, what about your tea bungle? Oh, it's all right, George. I'll only be a minute. Oh, George, get another plate. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, oh, yeah, come on. John. Oh. Yes, Bungle. Oh, I, uh, am, 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 uh, uh, tea. What's wrong, Bungle? Uh, uh, Jeffrey, Zippy, tea time. George, uh, would you like to come to tea and meet Jeffrey, George and Zippy? Oh, that would be lovely. Thank oh. you. Yes, I would. I'll be there before you can say Bungle Bear. Oh. Hey, I'll give you a sandwich for you. Oh, yeah, I'd like lots and lots, Jeffrey. Well, you wait. Wait till Bungle gets here. Oh, yeah. all right, Mr. Bungle. He's coming. John's coming to tea. Ooh. How do I look? You look fine, Bungle. I calm down. Oh, George, oh, 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 have you set another place? Uh, where's she going to sit? She's going to sit. Oh, oh, there she is now. Oh, you go, Jeffrey. Oh, come on, Bungle. Don't be shy. She knows you. You're her friend. Oh. Coming! Oh, Bungle is all excited. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my friend, Dawn. Dawn, this is Jeffrey. Hello. Zippy. Hello. And Dawn. Yeah, hey, Welcome, Dawn. Hello. Oh, you can come and sit down, Dawn. Oh. Do you like cake? Oh, yes, Zippy. Oh. Why? Well, there are only four cakes on the plate, and there are one, two, three, four, five of us. So someone won't be able to have a cake. Oh, it's all right. Dawn can have my cake. Oh, my. Well, you're quite welcome to have mine, Dawn. Oh, no, please. I'll just have a cup of tea. Oh, God. Oh, oh I know. Jeffrey, uh, could you cut my cake in half, please? Yes, yeah, all right. I want to do that. There. <laughs> that's half for me and half for Dawn. Oh, thank you, Bungles. You're so kind. Oh, Oh, no, I've been not for Jeffrey. Well, the next exciting day. I've made four new friends. Jeffrey, George, Zippy, and my special friend Bungle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we usually have a story, don't we? After we have tea. Dawn, would you like to stay in here, eh? Oh, yes, I'd like to very much. Oh, right. Here's your book, Jeffrey. Oh, yeah, read the one called The Lonely Lion, Jeffrey. The Lonely Lion. All right, Jeffrey. Let's see. Oh, yes, here we are. People love to visit Zoe Zoo and see the wonderful collection of big cats. There were pumas, panthers, lynx, leopards, cheetahs and tigers. And there was also a lion. He lived alone in a big enclosure with grass and trees, plenty to eat. But this particular lion always looked sad. Zoe the zookeeper was becoming very worried about him. When all the visitors arrived, they too were worried about him. Look at that lion, they said. 
He looks really sad. The other cats try to cheer him up by suggesting interesting things that he could do. Try a spot of running, said the cheetahs. They rushed across the grass with a fantastic scene. Ah, oh, yes, that's awesome. It's really good exercise, you know. I'm not very keen on running, said the lion. I only run when I have to, and I don't really have to at the moment. Well, how about climbing a tree, <laughs> suggested the panthers. It's great up here. You can see over the whole zoo. I don't like climbing, sighed the lion. I prefer to stay on the ground, thank you very much. Well, come and have a swim in the pool, called the tigers. Uh, it's uh, lovely and cool uh, here. Uh, uh, I hate getting wet, moaned the lion. I'll just give it a miss, if you don't mind. Well, nobody seemed able to cheer up the sad lion. Every day, crowds of people came to stare at him, and every day, the lion stared back at all the people and sighed. <sighs> well, one day, Zoe brought her little niece Amy to visit the group. Amy looked across the grass at the sad lion and said, Poor old pussy. He must be very lonely all by himself. Oh, yes, yes. When Zoe heard this, her eyes lit up. Get off. The next day, she arrived for work in her big red zoo lorry, climbed down from the cab, opened the back doors, and outbounded four big lionesses. Oh, how oh, are you good? Then she tampered into the lion enclosure and ran straight up to the lion. Hello, they cried. We come to live here and be your friends. Oh, yeah, the lion was delighted. He proudly showed the lionesses around the enclosure, pointed out the shadiest places to sleep, and made sure they all had something nice to eat. The smile on his face stretched from ear to ear. He looks happy now, laughed Amy. Hey, yes, he does, yes. I'm glad you've got some friends. Well, it's all thanks to you, called Zoe. Because you solved the problem of the lonely lion. <laughs> oh, thank you, you thank you, Jesse. Oh, it's dawn. We heard you singing this morning. <laughs> Will you sing something for us now? Well, look, why don't we all sing something together? Oh, oh yes, Richard, I'm a good singer. Before yes. we start, I wonder if you'd help me get something from next door, Jesse. Yes, I'd like to turn the wall. You'll see. Right. I wonder what they've gone to get. Chopper to chop off your head! Chop, 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 chop. 